Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at a brewery from Shorts Brewing out of Michigan. This, my friends, is their Goodnight Bodacious, a double black India Pale Ale coming in at, I think, around 9%. Sometimes I've seen it listed as 8.5. There's nothing on the bottle indicating that. It is a first-time bottling. I guess it was a previous draft-only release, but a double black IPA. If you guys know anything about shorts, you know they are not shy about straying away from traditional styles. They are brewing some crazy, crazy beers over at Shorts, and I gotta give a huge, huge thanks to Ron for hooking me up with this one. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get to try it. So I love a really good black IPA. So maybe this is a twist on a black IPA, who knows? So let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on Shorts. Good night, Bodacious. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Good Night Bodacious. Wow, that is intense. Uh, very, very interesting. You know, I was expecting a big kind of hoppy beer. I'm getting more Imperial Stout notes than anything. A lot of chocolate, coffee, big roasted grains, a nice kind of dark sweetness to it, a little bit of a dark fruit character. But the hops are definitely there. Citrus pininess, maybe a light kind of floral quality to it, a little bit of an earthiness, a little bit of maybe even a touch of like a, a black pepper spiciness. Yeah, just an interesting smelling black IPA. All right, guys, so the taste on the good night bodacious. Cheers. Wow, that is really, really interesting. Right at the front of the tongue, it's a battle. It's a battle between a really big Imperial Stout and a really, really big double IPA. I'm getting massive pine needles and grapefruit, kind of West Coast citrusy flavors. But at the same time, I'm getting cocoa. I'm getting super dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee in there, some roasted grains. And at the same time, you wouldn't think those flavors would work, work together, but really they counterbalance and play off each other so nicely. You get the bitterness from the coffee and the bitterness from the hops. And the finish on this one is just as strange. Definitely some sweetness, definitely some dryness. You know, it kind of finishes more like a West Coast style IPA with a dryness. Um, I'm not sure what yeast strain they're using, but definitely dried this one out. So you're getting that aspect. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate in the aftertaste as well. This is definitely a super hoppy Imperial Stout. Just really, really awesome stuff. This is a fantastic Imperial Stout and a fantastic black IPA and a fantastic double IPA kind of all rolled into one. If I had to put a label on it, I would definitely call it an Imperial Stout with a hop forward taste. Is it a black IPA? Sure, um, but it's a very, very intense black IPA unlike anything I've ever had. This is probably the best shorts beer I've ever had and one of the best black IPAs I've ever had. It's really fantastic stuff and I gotta give a thanks to Ron again for hooking me up for this one. This one was not on my radar at all, but man, is it a great, great beer. So with that said, getting an A for me and remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers, cheers.